Kia ora tato and welcome to this, the 2020 ILT Southland Sports Awards with a difference. I'm Angie Sheen from ILT, this is Nick Jeffrey from Stuff and the Southland Times and we are super excited to be here to announce the finalists for these, the 2020 awards. Of course, like everything in the past few months, it's uh, not quite how we're used to doing these, is it Nick? Fair to say, uh, Angie, although to be fair, some things haven't changed. We're here at ILT Stadium Southland, uh, as we are every year, to announce uh, our finalists. The guiding principles of these awards uh, haven't changed either. It's all about uh, showcasing another outstanding year of uh, Southland sport as well. But yes, our format is slightly different rather than doing this in person. Here we are uh, now as we're getting used to uh, doing this virtually uh, via the uh, small screen on your mobile phone, or if you're unlucky, you're watching me on a larger screen on your computers. Uh, yes, me too. Uh, of course, this will follow through to the actual awards too from June 29th. We'll be doing these again digitally and online. By that point, we hope we're better. You'll bet you do too. Um, but the other things that haven't changed are, of course, our fantastic family of sponsors. And they are, once again this year, BDO, Creation Signs, Southland Kia, Rico, NZME, Vodafone, ILT, and of course, the Southland Times. And those great categories that we contest every year are still in play. They are the Official of the Year, Administrator of the Year, the Team, Coach of the Year, the Masters Achievement, Junior Sportsperson and Senior Sportsperson, and uh, appropriately for the Southland Times, also the Story of the Year this year, Nick. Indeed, Angie. Uh, and uh, the other thing that hasn't changed are the organisations uh, behind these very awards. The Southland Amateur Sports Trust, and Sports Southland, who are doing outstanding work, challenging times for the sporting sector, uh, like many sectors as well. Sports Southland doing great work helping uh, the sector navigate these murky COVID-19 uh, waters and helping uh, sports uh, reimagine what the future could look like uh, as well on the other side of all of this. And they've had to do some uh, reimagining uh, for uh, these very awards uh, as well. So without further ado, thanks to the marvels of modern technology, let's bring in their Chief Executive, Mr. Brendan McDermott. Thanks Nick and Angie. In challenging times it certainly has been, not just for sport, but for everybody. And it's challenging us all to do things just a little bit differently. The awards this year gives us a chance to celebrate and reflect on the successes of our Southland sporting superstars for the last 12 months. And do things in a way that's just a little bit more appropriate for these difficult times. And it gives us the opportunity to show some loyalty back to our long-standing family of sponsors who have given so much to the awards over such a long period of time. The positive also with an online awards this year, it gives us a chance to take it out to you, out to a larger audience, to witness the awards online. So all the very best to all the nominees for the 2020 ILT Southland Sports Awards. Back to you, Nick and Angie. Thanks Brendan, and I'm sure I speak on behalf of everyone at home, all of your sponsors, including Nick and myself, for saying thanks to you and your team. You have done a remarkable job over the past year, and in particular in these past few months, to keep us all active, healthy, and with our mental well-being in mind. So cheers for that. Now, success. This is what we're all here for tonight, and so let's find out, without further ado, who our finalists are for the 2020 ILT Southland Sports Awards. And our first category this evening, is the Administrator of the Year brought to you by BDO. I'm pleased to announce that our finalists are Bruce Ross for cycling, Phil Hartley for athletics, and Greg Shepherd for tennis. So three uh, stalwarts of Southland Sport here. My old mate Bruce Ross uh, brought up uh, 50 years with the SBS Bank uh, Tour of Southland before stepping down as uh, race director last year. Phil Hartley, Chair of Athletic Southland's uh, Track and Field Committee, one of the real driving forces of the replacement of the uh, Surrey Park uh, Athletic Track. And also Greg Shepherd, missed the tennis up in uh, Tiano as well. He's been the front person for that international tennis tournament uh, up there and what a marvellous job uh, he's been doing as well. Can't wait to see what happens on that one then. And our second category of the year is Creation Signs Official of the Year. And the finalists in this category are Ian Densey for cycling, Evanette Fox for swimming, Carl McDonald rugby, Erin Cridlington for cycling, and Karina Natsuiri for netball. So again, some uh, real uh, driving forces for uh, Southland Sport uh, here in Denzi, Chief Commissaire at both uh, the New Zealand Age Group Track and Row Championships, along with uh, national uh, track cycling uh, events as well as international events. Uh, Evanette uh, Fox uh, here, she's uh, headlined by uh, being a, a poolside technical official at uh, the International Sports Federation for Persons with Intellectual uh, Disabilities, the INAS uh, Global Games in uh, Brisbane in October. Carl McDonald, big year for uh, MACA, lead physio and uh, head of medical for the Japanese 
Brave Blossoms at uh, the uh, Rugby World Cup and also uh, runs the seven, uh, uh, seven Circuit for uh, World Rugby for their officials. Erin Craiglington, it uh, wouldn't be a sports awards without her name, uh, a number of international cycling commissaire appointments over the past uh, 12 months. And uh, Karina Natoeri, well, she's been uh, the Ascot Park uh, Hotel Southern Seals physio since 2013, the longest serving physio in franchise history. And she's also over the past uh, 12 months been uh, involved with the Silver Ferns uh, Junior Development Squad. We're only two categories in and already I'm pleased I'm not a judge this year, trust me. All right, to our next category, this is brought to you by Rico and of course it is the Coach of the Year. I'm proud to say the finalists this year are Chris Telfer for softball, Chris Knight, for athletics and Sid Cumming for cycling. And what a job uh, these three have done over the course of uh, the last 12 months uh, as well. Chris uh, Knight, uh, New Zealand uh, team coach and manager at uh, the Pacific School Games in uh, Samoa back in July and uh, also led a para coaching clinic in Vanuatu in uh, October. Chris Telfer, assistant coach with the uh, New Zealand Girls Developing Sox who finished uh, second at the International Friendship Series in uh, Queensland and uh, Sid Cumming, uh, head coach of the Cycling Southland team at the National Elite and Under-19 uh, Track Cycling Championships and uh, certainly uh, one of uh, the uh, men in charge of uh, cycling success in the Deep South over the last 12 months. For we, some more great results there. Our next category is the NZME Masters Achievement of the Year and I'm proud to say that our finalists are Neil Hamilton for Cycling, Dwight Grieve for Athletics and Gerti Inventor for Cycling. So here they are, some of our uh, more experienced uh, finalists uh, this year and uh, back at it is uh, Neil Hamilton. Uh, who won gold medal in the M6 category at uh, the uh, National Age Group Championships, breaking his own uh, national record uh, in the process. Uh, Dwight Grieve, uh, well, he's been the leading Masters runner in the Kepler Challenge uh, for the second year in a row. He was sixth overall, which is an uh, incredible effort. And Gerti Inventor, uh, this is one of the uh, great stories, started track cycling uh, just a couple of years ago and has climbed her way into the elite ranks and at the uh, National Elite Championships, uh, finished with three top six uh, finishes. So another outstanding effort uh, there. You say experienced, Nick, I still wouldn't want to take anybody on in that category. All right, our next one is the Southland Kia Team of the Year, and our finalists are the Southland B Rugby Team, the Eastern Southland Senior Netball Team, and the Southland Elite Men's Team Sprint. So three great uh, team performances uh, to uh, showcase for you over uh, coming weeks as well. The uh, South and B rugby team, what a year uh, this was. It's been years in uh, the planning, but it all came to fruition uh, last year. They claimed the South Island Development uh, Championship uh, title and a great year of footy. East and South, I'm talking about uh, great uh, stories. The senior netball team, of course, coached by Donna Wilkins. They uh, completed the inaugural 12-team South Island Senior Championship undefeated. And that was after a return uh, from uh, many years for uh, East and South and at a rep level. And the South and Elite men's uh, Team Sprint, Nick Kirkusu, Tom Sexton, uh, Sexton and Connor Shearing all represented New Zealand at elite and junior level and of course they were gold medal winners at uh, the uh, National uh, uh, Elite Track Cycling Championships uh, over the course of the last 12 months as well. And that is another category of fine achievements indeed. Alright, our next one is the Vodafone Junior Sports Person of the Year. Usually a large group of finalists and uh, luckily this year is no different and we're super proud because that means that this sport is in good stead. Let's start off with Alice Smith for badminton, Liam Hewitt is in for golf, Josh Burnett for mountain biking, Quinn Hartley is in for athletics, Shakira Murfin is a finalist for rowing, Emily Patterson for cycling, Connor Shearing for cycling and Cormac Buchanan for motorcycle racing. And again, it's uh, not just the number, but the sheer cross-section of sports that uh, we've got featured in uh, this uh, Junior Sports Person of uh, the Year category. Alice Smith, a uh, member of the New Zealand Junior Team, which competed at uh, the Badminton World Federation Junior Champs uh, in uh, Russia. Uh, Liam Hewitt, what an effort this was, taking out the New Zealand Age Group uh, Championships at Cromwell and Golf in September, winning on the second uh, playoff hole. Josh Burnett, another big year on the mountain bike, uh, New Zealand under-23 mountain bike title holder, finished second overall. Quinn Hartley, uh, boy, he's a real young up-and-coming. Uh, this young man, New Zealand secondary school track and field uh, long jump uh, champion, a leap, leap of uh, 6.94 metres, which broke a record that stood since 1974, and he's basically become the uh, youngest to, to uh, uh, break uh, all sorts of records and win titles over the course of the last uh, 12 months. Uh, Shakira Murphy, junior world title with the New Zealand World uh, Junior Women's Quadruple Skulls crew at the Junior World Championships in Tokyo uh, back in August. Emily Patterson, another world championship uh, representative and a silver medal winner, no less, at the Junior 
Junior World Track Cycling uh, Championship with the women's team pursuit and also picked up two national titles. Uh, her teammate Connor Shearing, fourth place at the UCI Junior World Track Champs with the New Zealand uh, men's team pursuit and he finished fifth in the individual uh, time trial uh, as well. Uh, so that's a brilliant effort by uh, him and Connor uh, Cormac Buchanan. Uh, of course, what a uh, story this has been over the course of the past 12 months, winning the uh, 150cc uh, Supersport title uh, in March, the youngest rider uh, to win a New Zealand road racing championship in history. Some line up. Indeed, and O to be young again. Uh, but moving right along, this is our Senior Sports Person of the Year. Proud to say this is brought to you by ILT, and we love this category, and our finalists are Elena Saili for Rugby, Hannah Miller for Athletics, Corbin Strong for Cycling, Nick Kirgazoo for Cycling, Jenna Crampton in Netball, and Patricia Hopcroft for Touch. So some of the best of the best uh, on your screen uh, right now and uh, Alina Saeli of course has been one of Southland's leading uh, rugby exports. She's up to 76 games now for the Black Ferns uh, Sevens team. Uh, also Hannah Miller, uh, she's uh, competed at the World University Games based in the United States. Uh, she finished 9th in the 5,000 metres and 10th in the uh, 10,000 metres. Uh, Corbin Strong, uh, boy this uh, young fella could be anything in the future. He's an elite world cycling champion. He won the elite men's points race at the 2020 UCI uh, World Track Cycling uh, Championships. Uh, Nick Kirkazu also attended those championships where he finished seventh in the elite uh, kilo as well. Uh, Gina Crampton, uh, of course that special story as part of the Silver Ferns World Cup winning team in Liverpool. She was also co-captain of the Steel and the ANZ Premiership uh, Player of the Year, uh, no less. And uh, Trisha Hopcroft, uh, Touch Black's uh, uh, Open Women's Team that was second at the 2019 Touch uh, World Cup. She also has competed out on the uh, 15s field uh, for Otago and was part of the uh, team that won the inaugural Touch New Zealand Premier Touch League uh, title as well. So that is a, a fair old uh, uh, sixum that we've got to, uh, to uh, represent uh, this wonderful award. Nick, I said it earlier, but I will say it again. Good luck choosing any winners out of that lot because they are all simply amazing. But that is exactly what our judging panel will do, and then we will bring them to you on staff at 7pm on the 29th of June over that week. There will be two winners per night across all of our seven categories. Of course, we'll also be announcing the winner of the Mike Piper Trophy and our Services to Sports Awards too. And my favourite, the Story of the Year with the Southland Times also. Yes, so we'll come up with those uh, stories and that's our People's Choice uh, Award. So uh, you will get to vote. So we'll have those, of course, uh, heavily featured in uh, the uh, Southland Times and the newspaper. Uh, and uh, as we will with all of these awards uh, uh, on stuff, uh, on southlandtimes.co.nz and across all of the social media channels as you do, uh, including Sports Southland as the Southland Times and I'm sure even the ILTs. Oh, I think we might pop them up there too, yes. And this is how it works in 2020. It's all completely digital. So until then, please stay safe, stay active. We'll see you from the week of the 29th of June. Back in Southland.